welcome back to this short update was meant to be a video where I started machining the cylinder the 3d printed cylinder this one started machining that in my mill I got the tool changer working The home switch for the for the tool changer was also mapped to the limit switch of the x-axis. So every time it passed its home switch, the machine thought the x-axis limit had been tripped. Really strange. I'm not sure why or how or why anyone would would do something like that, but <laughs> I fixed it after a lot of head scratching. I spent pretty much a whole whole evening scratching my head over this and trying to find what was going wrong trying to find if there was something wrong with mechanics or a wire, broken wire, something like that. Turns out just a simple click of a button in Mach 3 and it was sorted. So here, this was enabled. So that's uh, the plus, plus direction on the x-axis limit, that was enabled and that pin number on port 2, that is the same pin on port 2 as the homing, homing uh, switch for the um, rotary axis, the tool changer. So, that was the problem. I got that sorted, but while I was troubleshooting, I noticed an uh, also familiar smell, and there was smoke pouring out from behind the machine. So I grabbed the extinguisher, and I, uh, in panic, teared the machine, or pulled the machine out from the wall, uh, try to save stuff that was burning. I, uh, I feared something was seriously wrong, but I had to grab a light here. This one, perfect. <laughs> Turns out it was just this capacitor. This capacitor that had um, let its magic smoke out. And uh, I've uh, ordered a new one and it's it's at the post office as we speak. Uh, new one for this one and this one and this one. All the suspects here because uh, these caps are known for blowing after a while. It actually arrived today, but I haven't been able to pick it up. I've been under the weather for a few days now, and I've been tested for Corona, so I'm quarantined. Got the test results today, no Corona, so that's a good thing. Not that it would have mattered for me anyway, but a good thing, because I work in a kindergarten and we would have been shut down if, uh, if I had Corona. This showed up today, it's from Varing. Varing, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce that in Hungarian, it's from Hungary. Here's the web address, www.varing.hu It's a diamond stone honing tool. And it's a big step up from my, uh, from my I think, produced in India, eBay honing tool. Feels like quality. It's, um, and it has a better mechanism. It, is, it's, uh, it seems to be two cones in there and a nut that tightens them and pushes these, um, these stones out. But the main advantage with this one is diamond stones so thank you Varing. thank you i'll talk more about this when i'm um, when i get the chance to test it out blixton racing in sweden have offered to nikosil my 3d printed cylinders or nikosil cylinders for me there's been several other companies around the world offering to do the plating for me and I thank you, thank you, but uh, I live on the border to Sweden. So that's why Blixton Racing, and also they seem like really cool people. So, um, and they do great work with um, replacement cylinders for uh, MX bikes and stuff. So yeah, really, really excited about this. Cause now I can, and they agreed to bore the cylinder too. So I'm gonna machine it, the, the faces in my mill. That's the plan, that was the plan now, before, um, before the capacitors let their smoke out machine the faces and send it off and have it bored and plated by them to spec that means we can test without having to worry about the plating being being bad or made by me so not professionally professionally done this honing tool is the v3 version so fits uh, i think 38 to 50 something bores it came with a um, with a 14 millimeter shaft and I turned it down to 
fit my drill because this only goes up to 13 I think so I turned it down from 14 to 12 millimeters this is my uh, the coolant thing I made the nozzle it interferes with the tool changer so I can't use it anymore I made a new one and um, I I did some adjustments to the angles and the placement of the holes here and the size this one is really heavy now because it's clogged with uh, small metal chips these are six millimeter holes this one had three millimeter holes but it doesn't really work that well because uh, now my pump can't keep up and uh, it just kind of drizzles and doesn't hit the mill at all so I'm gonna make a new version maybe I might just go back to this for a while now just seal it up, it's leaking. I'll hook up the old system and uh, as soon as we got those capacitors we'll start like making a fixture plate. I've got a lot of aluminium here so I'm gonna make a fixture plate for the cylinder so that I can uh, orient it to not touch these, these areas where it's not supposed to be faced. So have the mill face around this and uh, here is just a normal facing operation and then touch off these these uh, mounting lugs and I'll have to make an angle plate to be able to machine this surface great things are happening there's some twigs in our way but that's to be expected so yeah I've also hooked up this thing to work as a, as a pendant but uh, I can't really like it's not really usable it's all I've got now and uh, I need uh, one with those joysticks and uh, two of them to be able to control the C, C axis and the X and Y and also there's no mapping to any of these buttons here and uh, I can't get that mapping program to work so I'm gonna buy uh, an Xbox controller or similar and uh, use that hang in there for a proper video thanks for watching